What's up guys, Who's Stuff 7 and today I've got a video to talk about Wi-Fi networks. If your Wi-Fi network has been experiencing dropouts, disconnects, or just relatively bad performance in general, it could be a problem with the channel that your router is configured to. I'm going to show you how to use a PC and a mobile phone to figure out what channel your router should be on and how to change that in the settings so that you can get the most optimum performance out of your Wi-Fi networks in your home. Let's go. Okay, so here I am on the PC and what I have installed is a free program called Acrylic Wi-Fi Professional. Like I said, you can get it for totally free. You can only get it without paying for a five day trial license. So you can see it says trial right here, but that's just fine. That's gonna be more than enough time for what we need. We only actually need a few minutes just to determine what channel that we're on. So just go ahead and activate the trial license and uh, this will get you started. It is a really great program if you wanna pay for it or if you want to use it. There are so many features for this uh, particular program that I could take you through, but basically what I'm gonna show you today is just how to adjust your channel because uh, that's gonna be something that can be giving you a lot of problems. So in my particular case, my network right here is Hoost. You can see that I'm on channel 11, but before changing it, I was actually running on channel one. And uh, let me sort by channel here. So you can see how many other networks, there's a lot of networks in my area that my Wi-Fi adapter is picking up. And look at this, 111, there's four different channel ones, uh, three different channel twos, and two different channel threes. So all of these networks were actually causing interference with my network. And I was experiencing regular dropouts. The network would drop out multiple times a day, uh, just like every hour it would disconnect and it was very frustrating and I would also have slow in general speeds So if you're experiencing any of those things and you live in an area with a lot of networks The channel could be causing the problem you see that six is another popular network and you can see that there is a lot one two three four five six seven different on channel six and I'm on 11 because it's sort of the least congested you can see there's a network here on nine that's pretty far away here's my network who's on 11 and there's three other ones on 11 but they're all pretty far away now while you're using this program you can also click on network quality after you click on the SSID that you're looking for so I'll click on Hoost and choose network quality you can see here that it gives you channel quality signal quality and it gives you an overall network and the channel looking at five stars when I was uh, on one of the other channels, I was looking at you know one or two stars. This is going to be perfect for determining the right uh, network connection. So if you're not looking at at least you know like a five or six on this overall network quality, you're probably going to want to do some adjustments to your channel. Let me go ahead and show you some screenshots from a mobile device about how you can do the exact same thing if you don't have a PC with a wireless adapter or if you don't want to download and install Acrylic Wi-Fi Professional. Okay, so now I'm going to switch to my mobile phone and just show you some screenshots. I had a, a screen recorder going, but it was only capping at like 5 or 10 frames a second, and that was just distracting. So I'm just going to be sticking to screenshots, uh, but it should get the job done. So what you want to look for is Wi-Fi Analyzer on the App Store. If you have iOS, there's very similar applications. If you just search for Wi-Fi analyzer, you should find what you're looking for. Uh, there's a lot of different kinds that basically do the exact same thing, but uh, you, I'm going to be showing you specifically for Android. Once you get Wi-Fi analyzer installed, run it and you'll see this screen. Just like what we saw on the PC version with acrylic, it's going to show you where all the overlap hops are on the different channels. So you can see here that channels 1 and channel 6 are very, very congested. You can't even read some of this text because it's all just blocked up on each other. So these are not very good channels and that's why I was experiencing those regular drop-offs because it, it was set to the wrong thing. And a quick note is that this was set to auto channel. So I have a Netgear router and uh, you know, blessings Netgear, you have a lot of great things, but your auto channel detection is not very good in this particular instance. So even if you have auto channel on your router, you may want to manually configure the channel to make sure that you're getting the best quality. You can see from my screenshot here that even though there are some networks on channel 11, they had such poor signal that I wasn't even detecting them in this particular sweep, meaning that I'm able to move my network host to channel 11 and have basically no interference, whereas all these other channels are gonna be bogged down with congestion. Now, if you wanna get a more detailed look, you can actually click on the eye up at the top, which is gonna pull up this screen. And what we wanna choose is the channel rating. And on the channel rating, you'll see if you click on your SSID for your network, a list of all of the 11 channels and which one is gonna be the best for you. Like I mentioned at the start of this video, my 
uh, router was initially being auto configured onto channel one, which is only coming up with three stars on the rating. It's better than channel six, which literally in this case has a zero star rating, but it's definitely both of those choices are far inferior to channel 11, which is looking at a five and a half star rating, which could even be higher, but I'm gonna go with five and a half because it's the highest and that's the best for right now. So I was able to switch it over to channel 11 and have essentially completely resolved my problem. So now that you know what you need to know about the channels, you're probably wondering how you can actually go about changing the channels. Well, I'm going to switch back over to my PC and show you how to do that. Okay, so here I am on the Netgear Genie page, and I want to make it clear that this is just showing off specifically for this Netgear model. Uh, all Netgear models should look pretty similar, but if you have something like a Linksys or a Belkin, your page will look very different. I ran into this problem when I was doing my open NAT video that people would send me messages asking why their pages look different. And depending on when you watch this video, if it's a long time, you know, in the future, this page could be totally updated and look different. So keep in mind, this is not exactly what it will look like depending on your router. You just need to look for similar headings and titles. So you can see here that this is my wireless 2.4 network, it's called Hoost, and you can see that it is showing on channel 11. But previously this was setting was set to auto, so for uh, the Netgear you actually can just click on this. Again, for whatever you know your provider is, you may have to look for something different, but you can see here that it says channel, and I can actually specify which one of the 11 channels, including auto. Like I mentioned, it was on auto previously, but on auto it was defaulting it to channel one, which was not very good based on the graph and the Wi-Fi analyzer that we just looked at. So configure this manually to channel 11, apply the settings, reboot your router, and now if you go back into Wi-Fi analyzer, you will see your network on that channel. Okay, now for those of you that stuck around and want a little information about why these are sort of thought of as the best channels, I've got this image up on the screen which helps to explain what I'm talking about. So you'll notice that here is the 1 through 11 channels. It does have 12, 13, and 14, but if you're living in North America, you can pretty much ignore those for right now. Basically, these are the different frequencies and the spectrum that your router is going to be communicating on. And they're labeled 1 through 11, and they're indicated by these different semicircles. The semicircles, because they're arranged, take up some of the space and overlap with each other. Channels 1, 6, and 11 are thought of as the most desirable because they don't overlap with each other. So communicating on channel 1 is not going to cause interference with a router communicating on channel 6. And if something is on channel 6, it's not going to have a problem with channel 11. Now some of the other channels like 8 or 4, those are not very good channels because they overlap. 4 overlaps with 1 and 6, so you'll be causing frequency problems with both of these different channels and so they're not exactly the best. There are some cases and there are certain cases on 40 megahertz frequency where there are, you want to use different channels, but for the most part it's usually best to stick to either 1, 6, or 11 and using Wi-Fi Analyzer or Acrylic you can figure out which one of those three you want to be on. So there you have it, that's a setting that you can change on your router to adjust the channel. On mine, all I needed to do was move it from channel 1 to channel 11 and I haven't experienced a single dropout. And I've just had better performance in general from my Wi-Fi network here at the house because I'm not conflicting with all of my neighbors and there's lots of networks around here. So there you go. I hope that this works for you guys. Be sure to leave a comment if you have any questions. It's a pretty easy thing to change uh, the router channel and it should help you out. Uh, click that like button if you learned something and subscribe to stay up to date on all of my content. Thanks a lot for watching.